I want my perfume to be like butter on a piece of bread. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here my name is maria or it's mj here on youtube if you guys are new to my channel i talk about fragrances a lot i also talk about beauty fashion anything else that i feel like discussing for the day i'll be discussing for the day and in today's video you guys as you guys saw by the title i'll be sharing with you guys six fragrances is it six one two three four five six yeah it's six <laughs> six fragrances that i feel every woman should own in their collection now today's video is sponsored and it's in collaboration with Lily Silk and I felt that it was perfect to go with this video because I have some bougie stuff today okay I have some exciting stuff to tell you guys today and one of them I'm actually wearing today because I put it on today and I felt bougie so I put on one of these perfumes it just makes you feel like the finer things of life you know so I have my days I have my many multiple personalities and sometimes I feel like a queen but let me stop being so extra if you guys are not familiar with Lily Silk they are an online company and they are known obviously for silk this is a hundred percent mulberry silk it's real silk honey like this is the real thing they carry all types of high quality uh, products they have not only blouses but they also have pillowcases which they gifted me and I've been really enjoying I've been wanting those for quite a while especially because I've curly hair and I know that there's great benefits for curly hair girls and let me tell you that I've been having the best sleeps ever especially when it gets cold the silk actually gets cold as well you know when you're sleeping and you keep turning around to the cold spot on your bed while well, the silk pillowcase actually like grabs onto the cold um, air and it maintains that cold quality so I love it I love silk tops because they just look very chic and effortless you guys know that's my favorite word I love to not only smell effortless but to look effortless okay now they carry not only blouses like i said but they also have the pillowcases they have scrunchies which they also gifted me they have bedding they have pajamas they have a whole range of silk products and the color is just beautiful like it just falls flat it doesn't look all wonky and weird and stuff it just looks expensive it feels expensive <laughs> i like to look put together but i always like to look casual like casually well put together that's my favorite thing and that's the best part about silk you can put this with a black fitted um pencil skirt and some black pumps and bam easy you know you look great or you can just put on some mules and a pair of jeans and a nice belt and you look also great and i really want to thank lily silk um not only for sponsoring this video but also providing me the products and being very very patient with me because i've been having quite a tight um schedule and they have been working with me so i really want to thank them for that and with that being said if you guys are interested in seeing today's video then please keep on watching so first on the list you guys we're going to have a cheapie now i don't know how big your collection is or how minuscule it is but i believe every woman should have an affordable easy reach easy grab put it on and go it's going to go with absolutely every outfit that you have it's going to go well with multiple occasions that you go to and every mood that we encounter especially me that i have many moods sometimes i wake up on the wrong side of the bed and other times everything is rainbows and unicorns and roses so my easy grab shouldn't take anyone by surprise if you guys are familiar with my channel and that is sofia from sofia vergara i this perfume and if you know you know especially if you've been rocking with me from the very beginning as i mentioned in my last declutter i test out a lot of stuff and i declutter a lot of things and this is one of them that no matter what i buy i don't care if it's expensive cheap i don't care if it's super unique this is one that has never it's just never honestly i feel like i'm gonna have this forever it's just one of them that never makes it to the chopping block and it probably never will i guess i should never say never because like never say never but um i just love it as a matter of fact i'm not gonna tell you guys just yet but i decluttered a very very popular signature scent um, and it's a great perfume nevertheless but it's more expensive than this one but i did declutter a very popular perfume because i prefer this one over that one i think that says a lot now this is not overly complex it's nothing different i've never smelled this before but it's good it can be casually worn but you can also dress it up it's just very very versatile and most of all it's super affordable and i just know that i'm gonna smell good and for 20 dollars i mean and i know it's going to last i know it's going to project i can wear it to work and wear it to a date if i feel like it a brunch church to be around the house to go to sleep after a shower 
etc. It has a little bit of freshness in there where you just feel like great after the shower but it's not a soapy sort of freshness it's just light and airy and it has this really nice juicy like big fat plum in there and it's delicious whenever i think of a juicy perfume or people ask me for juicy sweet perfumes i always recommend this one i feel like you just can't go wrong this is for your everyday working mom your student on a budget and it's just really for anyone so that's sofia from sofia vergara and this is my cheapy that i really enjoy and i think every woman should own a good affordable cheap perfume that you know it got you but you know it's not gonna break the bank all right so talking about an easy grab um that's a little bit more luxurious a little bit more bougie and a little bit more elevated you guys know you know and this is Livre from YSL and this is one of my favorite perfumes as well as I said before this one has that sparkling champagne kind of vibe it just smells like a bossy woman to me this is actually what I'm wearing today this is my scent of the day and I wore this one uh, layering with Nomad Chloe Nomad and today I just wanted to smell kind of like my eyeshadow like I wanted to smell like mean <laughs> and that layering combo I feel like smells like that it smells like a little bit mean someone a little bit off-putting sometimes I want to smell pretty and dainty and feminine and other times I just want to smell like a bossy bee like just don't talk to me leave it alone has that very invigorating fresh musky and it just smells like a woman it smells like <laughs> you know what it smells like to me to me this smells like a modern woman a woman that signs contracts left and right this to me smells like a top producing realtor that's what it smells like to me I don't think it's a woman that has like a nine-to-five job gets a check every week no this is someone that controls their money they have great work ethic and they know that the harder they work the more money comes in like there's no cap you know what I mean that's what this smells like to me or someone like in the social media based things of life where they have their own schedule they're very hard working a top level content creator this is what this smells like it smells really rich and bougie but it has this very modernized taste to it yeah this is new money vibes like new money not old money but new money if you know you know but even though it's new money don't let that deter you i think that it smells really effortless as well and that's the most thing that i love about this perfume it has a very airy quality to it it just smells like bubbly you know so good so good like if you don't like this what are you doing with your life <laughs> i'm kidding Kidding, no kidding. I had to include, of course, my current favorite at the moment, and this should take you guys by no surprise. But this is, in my opinion, a gem. Not a lot of people talk about it. At least when I discovered it, not a lot of people talked about it. I only remember seeing Maria Coyette, and then my girl Takara put me onto it. But um, maybe I've been away from YouTube, but not a lot of people talk about this perfume, is what I'm trying to say. And this is Dolce e Gabbana, the only one. It's just really good, you guys. Um, this is very reminiscent to me um, and it has similar qualities to the Armani Privé line specifically talking about Rouge Malachite and Armani Privé Vert Malachite I think both of those uh, sort of perfumes are really like rich creamy sort of perfumes this one is that this one has that creamy very smooth um, <sighs> can't even finish my sentence but it's that it's that creamy sweet floral this is the definition of a creamy perfume i cannot stand it's a pet peeve of mine when people call everything creamy i love creamy perfumes and i feel like a lot of the times people correlate creaminess to sweetness or they like they use the words interchangeably and then i get a perfume and i'm just like it's sweet but it's not creamy it's not smooth it's not buttery you know and i want my perfume to be like butter on a piece of bread this is creamy this is very very smooth and i love it so much but it's not just like a flat creamy jasmine it's a woody creamy smooth sweet jasmine with these like tropical nuances in the back there's like green apple and coconut in here so the coconut adds not uh the scent of coconut but it adds more of an extra creaminess an extra richness i really want a root and i really want to invert and um i've put myself on hold because i have this one and this one is a lot cheaper than that one and this is one that i think every woman should own because i feel like every woman should have a creamy perfume in her life <laughs> but no seriously but it's this is a casually elegant sort of perfume you know casually sophisticated if that makes sense i don't think this is one that you're trying too hard but this is just another one that i feel like it's great to wear to the office you can also wear it to a date like you can't just throw this on and wake up you know like i can't just wear this to go to sleep of course you can wear whatever the hell you want to go you know whatever like 
I'm not your mom, but you know what I mean? I'm trying to paint the picture for you, essentially. You're not going to be looking like a derelict. You know what I mean? Like, this is, picture this, satin top, right? I have jeans on and I have loafers. Or I can have my satin top with jeans and a pair of pumps and add a blazer, you know? So, similar vibe, just one is more elevated than the other one, but either or, I still look put together in both of them. This one is just one that captivated me. I think if you like the Armani Privé line, this is one that you're going to like. I think this is a great alternative. If not, honestly, even better. Just gonna put it out there. If not, even better. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. All right, so now moving on to my next occasion, I think every woman should have a more formal, more mature, I would say more black tie affair, not that I'm going on any anytime soon, but you know what I mean. <laughs> This is Nina Ricci Lextase, Lextase, I'm sure someone's gonna correct me, but that one, and this is Rose Absolute. First of all, I actually really like this bottle. I would see it online and I was like, oh, it looks kind of cheap, but I actually really like it. I have a section where I put more of my, I guess, more expensive perfumes lined up. I'm not gonna lie, they have a pretty presentation, so I put them, you know, in a separate section and this is one that I have actually put next to them just because I think that it's beautiful and the scent itself is really beautiful it's really unique and in my opinion smells a lot more expensive than the price tag of this perfume and it has very uh, I don't want to say it like this but it does have like a niche quality not saying that everything that is niche in my opinion is niche quality I'm gonna link a video right here where I express my thoughts on that. But this has a very unique quality. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but I think that just every woman should have that mature, gender neutral sort of sense. I find that gender neutral sort of fragrances have a more, I don't know, captivating quality. They smell really unique, different, and they're gender neutral for a reason. I don't think every woman wears a gender neutral scent. Funny and ironic that I'm putting this in a video where I think every woman should own one, huh? If you know what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm trying to say, and that's it, okay? Similar to like Baccarat Rouge 540, it's a very, well, the x -Trates. I prefer the x or 540 itself, or the x version. I think it's a beautiful blend of a perfectly neutral scent where it doesn't lean too feminine, it doesn't lean too masculine it's perfectly in the middle and i think it smells amazing on both genders and this is i believe targeted actually towards women but in my opinion is very gender neutral i can smell this on a man for sure and i would love it the second that i smelled it i was like oh, i was captivated i was like oh my god this is so different the second that i smelled it to me it smelled like a spicy slightly fresh um but like a darker rose like an oody rose and I looked up the notes and it has no oud. This is the one that it's compared to oud, set, and mood. And I didn't know till I looked up the notes because I was like, this has to have oud and it doesn't have oud, ironically, but it's compared to oud, set, and mood. And the notes behind this one is MFK himself. So it has really great quality. This is one that it just to me smells rich and luxe and different and it's that woman i feel like this is a woman that's maybe a little bit more mean <laughs> it doesn't have a really pretty feminine girly quality to it by the way when i say gender neutral i don't mean that it smells like a man it doesn't have that generic guy cologne sort of scent i think it just smells what's the word that i'm looking for it smells androgynous there you go and it smells really sophisticated now this to me smells like old money this smells like someone that's been around and knows it all you know like i'm not new to this and i speak like five different languages i'm very well cultured i've been around the world that's what it smells like to me i tell my perfume friends whenever i wear this one and whenever i describe it to them it just smells like to me like a very well put together woman that has it like that and she's just like walking the streets of dubai minding her own business you know and is very unbothered i'm just cashing out my whole life and not worry about a damn thing honey you know how middle eastern women most of them i hate to generalize but they have beautiful hair it's very long and luxe it's shiny it's full of life and i feel like they always look like they have a nice fully blown out hair like they always look like they just came out of the salon right that's what i picture right now I imagine instead of this gun metal silver satin top it's a black 
top with high-waisted pants not jeans pants honey okay and I have black pumps on a trench coat and I have like these huge big sunglasses very unbothered now obviously I'm just painting a picture you guys like I'm not 40 something and I'm not in Dubai I recently actually wore this one to work so I definitely was not in Dubai okay I was in my desk on my laptop sipping my coffee at work okay just a great signature scent and even though to me it smells really bougie and luxe and like the high class honey like you know I definitely felt super comfortable wearing it to work and I layered it with cloud a bomb a bomb a guy in the office was like is that you is that perfume you you filled up the whole room and I know that it has pretty great uh, longevity so that is that one. Now, I couldn't do this video without a smexy section. Every woman needs that perfume. And love it or hate it, love it or hate it, I love it, obviously. I picked Good Girl from Carolina Herrera, and I picked the original one. I do love the Leger version as well. That one is just more fresh, more sweet, I believe, and this one has that character to me. This one represents the bottle perfectly. I know this is a very controversial perfume. Some people hate it, some people love it. I don't care. This is a delicious perfume to me. I I sprayed it in the air. It's like This to me is a very captivating sort of perfume. I think that not only does it linger on forever as well, but it leaves a very intoxicating trail. This is one that I notice a lot of men like on a woman. It looks like I said like the bottle, little black dress and some cute little lacy heels. That's what I get. You're looking for attention. I think it has just the right amount of sweetness to make it feminine, but not overly not like a little girl, you know, it has an edge. It has, um, some people say masculine touch. You don't want to smell delicate. You want to smell like a little bit raunchy. We all have different personalities. Don't tell me I'm the only one. I know I'm not crazy. I know we all have different personalities. And sometimes we don't want to smell all delicate and pretty and feminine, like rose petals and stuff. Sometimes we want to have a little bit more attitude, a little bit more personality. And to me, Good Girl has that. It has that edge, a little bit more personality, a little bit more rugged. Now, the bottle does, I'm not going to lie, look a little bit trashy. And I have heard... This scent being described as a little bit more like a club girl, more trashy. I don't think so. If you want to wear it to a club, great. I don't go out clubbing, so I wouldn't know. But in my opinion, it has just an edge to it, a little bit more personality, and I don't find it trashy. But that's Good Girl from Carolina Herrera. You see that? That roll of the R's? This is your, like, Hispanic girl. <laughs> Now moving on to, we have our last two now. And we're gonna move to one of my favorite designer perfumes of all time, and this is C. Fiori. This is the complete opposite of Good Girl, in my opinion. This is your pretty, feminine, everyday, I'm beautiful sort of fragrance. This is your delicate flower petals. Now, it doesn't smell like florals. I've said this before, but to me, this has a floral gourmand composition not classified at all as a gourmand but it has a creaminess to it this is the first perfume that i have in my collection i believe that i distinguish that creaminess and it was very obvious and this is one that actually has a creamy composition it's not like you know people say creamy and you get it and it's not creamy no this is one that actually has that creamy buttery composition i've actually said before that this is like a like a berries milkshake. Now it's not that foody. It still smells like a perfume and it still smells very feminine. Um, but it does have that creamy aspect to it. This is a very pretty, just beautiful girl. Like I'm not trying too hard. I just smell good every day and I'm very pretty and feminine and delicate and don't touch me too hard because I might break. Like I said, sometimes I go to sleep with one mood. So I might go to sleep feeling like good girl and then I might wake up feeling like a delicate flower petal and this is my C Fiori. I feel like every woman should have this in their collection. This is such a staple like for brides, also for work, for school. That I mentioned before that when I'm feeling down or whatever I usually gravitate towards more gourmand sweeter perfumes and things that might remind me of like a cookie or stuff or cotton candy stuff like that you know like pink sugar and stuff like that. This one day I had to go view a new construction at one of our for Lauderdale sites, new construction, whatever. So I went with another realtor. I was next to her. 
she was like oh my god he smells so good she's like what are you wearing and i was like oh my god i'm wearing this perfume she's also another um like fragrance lover she was like i kept smelling you and smelling you and smelling you and it's just like getting whiffs of it she was like i had to find out what it was this is your pretty girl next door very easy to like and i think most women would really enjoy this one it's a very delicate this is for my lovers of creamy perfumes, for my lovers of sweet perfumes, for my lovers of vanilla, rich perfumes. You would really like this. It's just perfect. It just has the right amount of florals without being overly floral and it, it's beautiful, beautiful. I've said this before that I would wear this like on my wedding day. I love it. It's getting hot in here, so take up on your clothes. Na -na, not too feminine to take my clothes off. All right, <laughs> moving on to the last perfume or the last fragrance I should say because this one's a little bit more bougie So when something's a little bit more bougie, we don't say perfume. We say fragrance, okay? <laughs> Fragrancia. I'm obviously being sarcastic like if you know me by now, you know that I'm super sarcastic And this is the queen of the feminine perfumes and this is Delina Exclusive. Now I love Delina. I think that the original Delina is also the queen of feminine perfumes and just smelling like a full-on grown-ass woman bougie woman at that but i decided to go with the exclusive just because this one is for me more year round and i know that not everyone can get with the tart sourness of delina i love that by the way that's what for me personally that's what makes delina delina you know that tart sourness that rhubarb oof, that to me has this not only kick but it makes your mouth water i love it you know when your mouth starts salivating a little bit delina to me has that effect but i went with this one because this one is more creamy um some people say more complex depending what your definition of complex is i guess but i went with this one just because i find this one even more a little bit more grown up i think that delina is a little bit more not juvenile that's not the correct term but i think that in comparison to the exclusive it does have a little bit more of a juvenile sense to it if i'm comparing them i don't think it's juvenile at all but if i'm comparing them i will say that the fruitiness freshness of that one is a little bit more juvenile and this one is a little bit more older now some people say oh i'm gonna close it because i'm gonna go crazy <laughs> now the reason this one is on my top one is because it is the more expensive and i only recommend this if i feel like you're willing to cash out and you don't really have a big collection but you're looking for that one signature scent that one signature scent that smells expensive it smells refined it smells womanly selena exclusive or Delina in general, depending on if you prefer something more creamy, more fresh, etc. That's up to you, right? Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I do not cash out very easily for niche. If I buy niche and I keep it, it's because I really enjoy it and I think it's worth the price. Now, this to me is one of the very few niche, in my opinion, that is worth the price. Um, just because I think that it smells absolutely delicious. I don't want to eat it, but I want to keep on smelling it. When I first got this one, I put it on and i was somewhere and the lady next to me she was like oh my god and i have to mention these compliments by the way because it's not very easy for me to get compliments where i live i don't live around people that are very nice maybe that's why my attitude is like this no i'm just a sagittarius that's why but no i'm kidding but i don't live around a place where we don't just get compliments easily like that like people don't like us like that you know what i mean like it's one of those that you notice people want to tell you you smell good but they don't want to tell you that you smell good because they don't want to come off too friendly anywho this lady goes you smell so good she was like i kept smelling you you're next to me and i just gotta ask you what you're wearing she was like is that bond number nine something something i forgot the name that she said and she oh no i was like it's delina exclusive and she was like say who what and i was like delina exclusive that's the name of the perfume she was like i'm gonna go buy that today she was like you smell so good i need to have that so this is obviously a compliment getter i actually have first kiss exclusive and first kiss um those are from the brand layered and those are one of my top complimented perfumes as well it seems like even if you don't want to give a compliment you'll give the compliment just because that person smells intoxicating did i say that this one is a top producing realtor i scratched it off this to me is more of a content creator she's making good money okay she's making good money but this this is a top producing realtor an investor at that okay and 
she's not making a three-figure salary she's making millions <laughs> that's what it smells like to me millions has her own business on the side she has a lot of things going on really miss uh, recording and being here in front of this camera today's Sunday so this is the perfect day to film because you guys didn't have all this commotion in the background construction is going it's driving me crazy and yeah so I really miss recording and I miss you guys you know what I'm going to at the end announce the winners um, because it's a long long overdue so I really apologize for that also I really want to thank Lily Silk for sponsoring this video and I really 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 like this whole thing going on like I said I put this on today and I just felt bougie okay so I really like this shirt and I have been really enjoying the pillow that you guys gifted me so with that being said, as always, if you guys are not subscribed already, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. You guys have no idea. Give this video a thumbs up as well. And as always, I hope you guys have a beautiful and wonderful and blessed day. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.